was talking to my doctor and I said, well, I have this pain on this side and it bugs me and keeps me up. And he said, well, there's nothing going on on your left side, but there's this little thing on the right side and the radiologist made this kind of strange note at the bottom that said, could be carcinoid. And he goes, I gotta tell you, you don't have carcinoid. Nobody gets carcinoid, but we should take a look at it anyway. And that's how it was discovered. It's very depressing to find out you have cancer. The big problem with an NET type cancer is there's so little information. It certainly was 10 years ago. At first, you're sort of focused on, you know, the process. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna fight this? What do I have to do? You're kind of getting pushed into this medical machine and now you need to do this and you have to take this drug or you're gonna need the surgery and you're just kind of getting like in the whirlwind. It's hard to focus. In a weird way, look for the angels because there are these people that are going to help you if you look for them. For me, it was a woman that I had just met who eventually became my wife. It was her boss. It was a friend's brother who would have to be a gastroenterologist. It was finding the most amazing uh, oncologist. He took out, I think, 23 lymph nodes, 16 of them had cancer in them. All along the way, people telling me, helping me and guiding me, has made a huge difference. And so those are the people that I call my angels. They're around. You just have to look for them. Coming back from cancer is very mental and very physical. As I was recovering, I would think about getting back on a bike. I used to cycle all the time when I was younger and I hadn't done it in a long time. And I finally said, I need to buy a bike. And so I did. I went out and bought a bike and I started riding. And I think a lot of what happened as far as me getting my physical self back happened on that bike. You know, I always say that you need to tell your body it needs to still run from the lion. And so every time I'm on that bike, I'm leaving cancer behind me. It's back there and I'm going forward and it makes me go faster. My story is a really good story. You know, it was found early. That's the awareness. We did the right things early on, that's the knowledge of the surgeons and the clinicians. And I did the right things. I got myself as healthy as I could. And so all those things sort of added up to maybe Dave doesn't have cancer anymore. Or if he does, it's at a level that's never really gonna impact his life. And so I like to share that story with people when I can because I want them to know that that's also an outcome because a lot of times you'll just hear the negatives. And so there's a positive side to this cancer story if you do it right. And since then, I got married, I have three kids, I have a wonderful home, still doing my job in New York, done a lot of traveling, seeing the world, stuff I'd never had time to do before. I used to just work, 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 work. And I think having cancer really made me realize there's other stuff besides that. I'm Dave McCoy, and I'm a carcinoid cancer survivor.